Hello everybody, this is Mr. Block coming to you today with a video about the new app that we're going to start using called Transio. And as you can see here, this is going to be a student training video, as, as it says on your screen. Um, so let's just move, let's get right into it, move into the first slide, which will talk about uh, essentially what we're going to go over. We'll, we'll talk about what it is, what is the app uh, Transio, how do you log in, and then how do you use it? So it's actually very simple. Uh, let's get into it. So first of all, uh, what is Transio? It is a work-based learning software and, and database that allows us to track and record our internship, externship, and you know other work-based learning hours. Uh, you will use Transio to sign in and, su and submit important student documents. You'll also use Transio to track and record your work-based learning hours at your work site. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about this a little bit later in this presentation. All right, let's move on. So to log in, I've gone ahead and created a QR code. If you want to scan that, you can do that and just log in right in your phone. And you can use your, your app, make a shortcut in your phone and use that. Uh, you could do that if you'd like. If you're not sure how to do that, just ask. I'll show you how to do that. Or use in any web browser, just go to app.gotransio.com and that'll take you to the login page. Okay, now to log in, you're going to, uh, let's, let me open up a page here and we'll go to app.transio.com. Okay, when you go to app.transio.com, you'll come to the login page and you're asked to put in your district, uh, district name. Don't put in the shortened name for most of them. Of course, we're in PYLUSD. Um, if you're in Los Alamitos, you're going to put in the full name. We're going to put in just PYLUSD and copy that right there. Go into Transio, put this in, hit search, and then hit login. And then you'll be able to sign in with your Google account. Let's take a look at this video and it'll run you through a little bit about how to use the app. There are a few different ways for you to log your time and hours at your work-based learning experiences. The way you log your time will depend on how your school or business contacts sets up the time logs. Let's go over the different ways to log your hours. Step 1. Log into Transio. On your dashboard you will see Experience Check-in. You can also get to your experiences by using the navigation bar and clicking Jobs, Experiences. Step 2. Log your hours. Your job will have you log your hours either daily using a time log, daily using geo check-in, or by typing in the total number of hours you worked over a pay period or time frame. If your job is having you check in daily, use the Add Time Log button. Here you can either geo check-in, which will start a running time clock and start counting time at your job. Be sure to return to this screen to clock out at the end of your shift. Or you can enter in a manual time log by choosing the date and start time and end time and clicking save. Depending on your experience setup, your hours may be verified daily or at the end of a pay period you might see a notification saying you have one or more pay periods to submit. Please go to the Pay Period Submissions tab to complete them. This means that you have reached the end of a pay period or time frame for hour reporting set by the school or your supervisor. Click on Pay Period Submissions. Here are all of your time logs for the given pay period, as you'll see in this drop-down menu. Choose the pay period you need to report your hours for. Review all of your hours below. Sign. And submit the pay period. If your experience was set up so you have to enter in total hours for a pay period, you will see the same notification saying you have one or more pay periods to submit. 
please go to the Pay Period Submissions tab to complete them. Click on Pay Period Submissions. Choose the pay period. Enter in the total number of hours for the pay period. Sign and submit. If your job is set up to enter in your total hours, you will not be able to enter a time log. Okay, now, so what I'd like you to do is, and you're, you've got this link actually in here. Uh, I'm going to give this whole presentation, uh, make it all available to you. Uh, and this link is right, th uh, right there. We're going to go in to look at the viewing the time logs um, link. And that one is a fairly short video, less than a minute. Here we go. You can view your time logs for your work-based learning experiences by logging into Transio and clicking on Jobs, Experiences, then the Experience Name. Then click the Time Logs tab. Here you can see a list of the date, the total work hours, the status, approved, pending, or rejected, if you use GeoCheckIn, and an option to view any forms you completed when submitting those hours. If you feel like you might be missing hours, they may still be under pay period submissions. Be sure to check here if you think you are missing any hours. You'll be able to submit these hours once the pay period ends. So if you have any questions about that, uh, please, of course, uh, you can check this link as well. Uh, this will go to like a, a, essentially a help page. Uh, but uh, you know, let me know. Uh, I am not a Transio um, expert, but I do have access to the uh, customer support, and I can look into any any uh, issues that you may have using the app. Thanks a lot. Take care.